You're right guys, Gary back again. In today's video I'm going to be looking at this. Uh, this is a nice little box that arrived today. It's from Cerisa Pre Pre I can't talk. Cerisa Precision Limited. And inside this box is a bit of paper. Now uh, this is a Burroughs and Badgers building, uh, Salvor's Borough. And I'm going to get that one away. A large paint rack. As I'm sure most of us in uh, miniature painting and tabletop wargaming find, paint takes up a lot of space. And um, yeah, I've got a lot of lot of paint, not much room, and a big mess on my desk. I'm sure I will put some footage of what my desk looks like now. Uh, so I found this online. Uh, it's, like I said, some Cerisa, Pre Cerisa Precision Limited. Uh, it's a large paint rack. This was £20, which I think was a reasonable price. Uh, this was £6, but I'm going to look at this one in a separate video. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping this will help my uh, storage issues. Or just help me tidy up my desk just a little bit. So we got the. It's, it's a nice little thing. It's about the size of an A4 sheet of paper. It comes uh, cellophane wrapped, and on the back, you've got all their Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, follow us. Um, some nice stuff on there. So they do also have some really nice buildings. Okay, so I opened that up and it instantly uh, disintegrated on me. Let's have a look at the instructions. Uh, glue space. Blah, 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 blah. This doesn't look too hard to follow. Um, still dropping things on the floor. Right, what I'm going to do? Oh, actually, quick look. It's uh, it's MDF. It's laser cut. As soon as you open that cellophane up, you get that real burnt, burnt wood smell, which I kind of like and I kind of don't. But uh, it's alright, it's not too bad. It's not, it, you can tell it's there, definitely. Uh, lots of little bits. Oh, what now? This looks slightly more intimidating than it did in the picture. But that's okay, I can sort this. I don't actually know what goes where. But uh, what I'll do is I'm going to stop this little bit, this little video. Oh god, right, actually. Here we go. A little sheet on what next. I'm guessing that's if I'd got a actual building. But uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend going and have a look at their website. It's very nice. Okay, so that is the large paint rack from Cerisa Precision. Um, it didn't take me that long to build. There were a couple of mistakes. Uh, instructions are fairly easy to follow. Um, it's just my own incompetence that meant I, I glued a couple of bits on back to front and I got some place uh, bits in the wrong areas. But, <coughs> but that's just me. I'm sure not everyone is as uh, silly as I am with instructions. Um, as you may have seen from the little uh, pan over I did showing off my what my desk looks like at the moment, uh, I'm currently using uh, this or two of these, which is what I. Um, <laughs> I made these myself, if you couldn't tell, and that's basically four of the uh, Games Workshop paint holders that were selling before Christmas, uh, screwed into a plank of wood, which is actually a spare shelf I got for an Ikea unit. Um, and they're alright, but because I've had to position them near the edges of my desk, it makes the paint a bit unreachable for me. So we're going to see exactly how many of these fit on here and whether it would be, be uh, worth me replacing the rest of, well, the other ones. So let's have a look. Oh, that's not even a shelf up there. There we go. So we can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight standard Games Workshop paints per row. Eight, one, two, three, four. I'll hold 56 regular sized uh, Games Workshop paints. Uh, I've also got a couple of these uh, Instar paints. And there's uh, some nice little circles, 
cut into the uh, the tray so you could fit them in upside down as well. That's quite cool, quite nifty. Uh, it was only twenty pounds. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, I'll pop a link down below in the description. Um, this was the Sarissa Precision Large Paint Rack. Uh, oh, well, I also forget before I forget. Uh, it also had these little additional brush holders. Uh, you know, put them on the side. That's quite nice. If you want to put paint uh, brush holders on the side, you can. If not, they just pop off. So that was the Cerisa Precision Large Paint Rack. Um, I quite like it. I think this will be quite helpful for me. Hopefully keep my desk a bit tidier. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Leave comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, or found this informative in any way, shape or form, do leave a like, leave a comment and maybe subscribe if you want to see what's coming up. Uh, until the next video, guys. Thank you as always. My name is Gary, aka Hopeless. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!